Happy Monday. Good morning, everyone. My name is Catherine, and I'll be guiding you through your Power Pilates class today. So all you need um, for class is your mat, a water bottle, your towel, um, and you'll need possibly a set of weights if you're wanting. Like they are optional for two exercises, so you don't necessarily need them. It's just for that extra challenge. But we also will be requiring a book. So grabbing one book, set of weights, and we will get started shortly. So for those that are doing the challenge, let me know how you're feeling. Um, don't forget to comment um, once you have completed your workout, just so we can keep track. Good morning, Renee. Perfect. So we will wait a moment and then we'll get started. And also, if you are streaming music from, a, from another device, um, then I did link um, the playlist earlier today. So it's just under Catherine Lacey. And then the playlist is Pilates 45, 90s R&B. Because I won't be streaming music um, that loud anymore. So you'll have to stream it from a different device. So I've linked that in previous post. All right. So I'll let you know when to press play on that playlist. Hope everyone's feeling good. Oops. All right. Getting that playlist ready, it is Pilates 45 90s R&B. And we are going to press play. So I'm just gonna have it lightly playing on a mobile phone. So you probably won't hear it. So you'll wanna play it from your own device. So we're just gonna start by lying down on your backs. Feet are about hip width distance apart, arms are by your side. And we're going to take a nice big inhale here together. And then exhale, letting it all go. So closing down your eyes, focusing on your breath. And just getting comfortable in the four corners of your mat. Letting go of your morning and just bringing your attention to your mat, to your practice. We're going to bring our fingertips together to form a diamond shape and we're going to place that on your pelvic bone. So you want your thumbs to be touching pretty much your belly button and you're going to imagine there's a marble just in the middle of that diamond. We're going to work on locating neutral spine. So taking a big inhale through the nose and then on the exhale you're going to slowly draw your lower abs and hips down into the mat. As that, roll, as that marble will roll towards your thumbs. Another big inhale here. And then exhale, we're going to exaggerate through the spine here, really arching the back, marble rolls towards fingertips. Inhale at the top. Exhale, pushing your lower abs and hips down into the mat. So nice flat back, see marble rolls to the thumbs. And then exhale, marble rolls to the fingertips. And then slowly coming back through center. The marble is now in the center of that diamond. So that is your neutral spine. Just that little bit of a gap between your back and the mat, that is neutral spine. So we're gonna get started in our bridges. You wanna grab your book. Remember books and weights are optional just for that extra challenge. So placing the book, at the top right of your mat. I'm gonna reset that song so it's ready to go. Right foot is on the block. And we're coming all the way back down to your mats. All right, we're gonna slowly tuck, peel and lift your hips all the way up towards the sky. So right foot is on the block, squeezing through the glutes, one straight line from the knees to the shoulders. We're gonna come down for two, and up for two. So just a bit of an elevated bridge here through that right side. Nice and controlled. As you move up, 
One, two, and one, two. Squeeze and lift at the top. Relaxing the shoulders by your side. And focus here. We're squeezing and lifting all the way up. So your hips are as high as you can at the top of right here. Hold, breathe. Squeeze and lift. We're going to come into a little pulse. So we just come down about a half an inch. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Notice how I'm not coming down too far. Just a little baby pulse here, a small movement. Keeping those hips nice and high the whole time. Draw that belly button to spine and breathe. All right, let's hold it here. I'm gonna lift that left knee up. We draw it in and out. Keep the hips high the whole time. Knee comes in and out. So draw it into chest, extend long. Bit of work. Keep those hips as high as you can. Go all the way in, release long. Control movement here. Readjust if you need, hold it long. We come up and down. We don't have to bring your feet too high to the sky. We're just coming about halfway. So to the point where your knees are in line and then you release it down. So come up and release about a 45 degree angle. Squeeze and lift. We're gonna reset after this exercise, swapping sides. So really push through, you're gonna really start to feel in that right loop. Breathe and move. And slowly release. Roll down, knees to chest, rock and roll, massage your lower back. We're going to bring that book to the left side of your mat. So now the left foot is on the book. We're going to slowly tuck, peel and lift all the way up. Squeeze here. Remember one straight line from the knees to the shoulders. Let's go. We come down for two, up for two. Try not to rest your hips too long on the mat. We literally just tap or hover and then draw it back up. One, two, one, two. Breathe and lift. Hold. Baby pulse. We come up. Up. Lift. Lift. Notice how I'm not coming down too low. Stay high. Shoulders relaxed. Core switched on. Our bridge series is amazing for working and strengthening through the core, your back, and your glutes. So lift, lift, keep it going. Breathe and hold. Hold it here. We're drawing right knee in and out. Let's go. We come in and out. In and out. Keep those shoulders relaxed, belly button to spine. We are working so hard already. Gonna really feel it in those glutes. Keep going. Breathe. Hold. We tap down and up. Down and up. As you come up, your knees are in line. Keep those toes pointed. Breathe. Let's go. Lift and lower. Almost there. We get a reset so soon. And release. Knees into chest, squeeze and hug, rock and roll. Whew. All right, rocking up to a seated position. We're coming into our core work. 
So we're going to have three exercises, three rounds through, 30 seconds each exercise. First one is going to be a crunch. We're going to have our knees in tabletop position. So you'll notice here you've got that neutral spine, that little baby gap, just enough to fit that marble without it rolling away. Elbows out. First exercise, we come up for two, down for two. One, two, one, two. Second exercise, single leg extension, but we're going to stay crunched the whole time. So crunching up like you're twisting into a bicycle. So right elbow towards that left knee. And you're going to come out and in. Out and in the whole time. Third exercise, we just crunch left elbow, right knee as that leg comes out and in. Stay lifted the whole time. If you need a reset, drop down. Those are your three exercises. We have three rounds. Let's get started. Basic crunch. If you need here, just plant your feet down. Otherwise, they're in that reverse tabletop position. Feel the rib tip connection as you crunch up and then you release down. Five, four, three, two, release. Take a quick reset. All right, let's start in that crunch. Right elbow towards the left knee, stay here. Extend left leg out and in. Out and in. Stay here. Breathe. We're gonna alternate sides soon. Release. Swapping sides. Right leg. Stay lifted if you need, drop down. Focus on your breath. We're really twisting through the obliques here. Staying lifted in that crunch. Focus for three, two, one. Release. All right, we're back into a basic crunch. Let's go. We come up for two, down for two. So one, two, one, two. Nice and controlled. Elbows out, fingertips hold. Try not to pull at your neck here. Ten more seconds. Then we are back into our single legs. But this time we're going to do it a little bit different. For three, two, release. All right. Crunching up. Right elbow, left knee. We're going to extend this side. Long this time, and we're pulsing the whole time. Up and down. Just up and down. Stay lifted. Try and keep that knee stacked. If you bring it in, just try and be mindful of that, and then readjust. Stay lifted, pulsing here for five, four, three, two, Ooh, release, feel that burn. Swapping sides, crunch up, left leg long, pulse. Breathe. So strong, this is not easy, you're doing so good. Focus on your breath. If you need that modification, come down. Come back up when you are ready. We are so close, we have five. Four, three, two, release. Take that reset, we're back into a basic crunch. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Drop the feet if you'd like, otherwise they stay lifted. Wherever you're at, you can even extend long if you want. There's a few different options there. Breathe. Almost there. And release. Take a 
quick reset. We have one minute to go. This time we crunch up. Right elbow, left knee. Extend that right leg again. We're just coming into some circles. So we're going to circle to the left and then halfway through we'll circle to the right. Whew. Breathe. Stay lifted. Alright, rotate. Circles to the right. Stay lifted the whole time. Try not to pull at your neck. We're using total core strength. You have five, four, three, two. Release. Woo. All right, swap sides. Crunch up, left leg long, circles. So whatever way you want to circle, because we know when we come to that halfway point, we're just going to alternate the other side. Keeping your leg nice and low to the mat. Stay with the breath, all right, rotate. Opposite side circles. We only have 10 more seconds, and then we're coming into our side line for five, four, Three, two, release. Take knees to chest. Have a quick, draw the knees in, have a little reset. And then we're coming over to our side line. So we're gonna lie with our, on our side and we're gonna come into a bit of a pipe. So you want your elbow forward and your legs forward, okay? So your hips are actually back here. All right, so we're gonna come into the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna extend that right leg long. So left foot forward, we're sitting forward. We're gonna flex. We come one, two, all the way back, as back as you can go. So one, two, and back. Let's go. One, two, back. Flex through the foot. So maybe just add a bit of that pulse at the top here. Release down. One, two, and back. Whoa. And then we're gonna bend the knee here. So bend it all the way back, squeezing. Hold it there. Hold it, and just squeeze. So you're pulling it in, in. In. So just keep drawing it in, squeezing here. Focus. Whoop. Feel it there. You can flex through the foot. You have five, four, three, two, release. All right, flex through that foot again. We're going to point forward and then come all the way back, flex through the foot. So forward point. Flex back. So we're creating that rainbow here. We're still in that pike. Getting so good. Nice and controlled. We're gonna come over to four point kneeling in five, four, three, two, release. All right, four point kneeling. Knees are stacked, hands are stacked. We're going to untuck the toes and come into a bear hover, so lift, holding it here, breathe. So you want a nice flat back, draw that belly button to spine and have the knees really close to the mat here. Stay with it. We're going to come into a forearm plank next. You have five, four, three, two, release. Step it back. Forearm plank. Elbows are stacked below the shoulders. Hands are in line with the elbows. Draw you the knees up and look forward. Bring that belly button in. Hold. Stay with it. 10 seconds and then we're back to full point kneeling. Five, four, Three, two, release. Back to four point kneeling. We're gonna do a donkey to fire hydrant as we wrap it around with that right leg. So we come donkey into fire. Donkey, wrap it around. Donkey and around. Whew. 
Flex that foot. Draw that belly button in. Five, four, three, two, last one. Release. Untuck the toes. We're back into bear hover. Lift. We come back and forward. So we're just rocking back and forward here. So sit back, come forward. Back, forward. Stay low the whole time. Let's go. Ten seconds, and we're in donkey left side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Donkey left side. Wrap it around. Draw that belly button in. Try to keep that flat back. Almost there. Back to a hover net. Five, four, three, two, release. Untuck the toes. Let's lift. Hold. We drop and lift. Drop, lift. Draw that belly button in. Try and keep those hands stacked. Knees stacked as you lift and lower. Back to that forearm plank in 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, release. Forearm plank. Hold it here. Look at the top of your mat and really focus on your breath. Modification, just come to the knees, yeah? Otherwise, we're on the toes. Hold. Breathe. Ten seconds, and then we're rolling over to left side to finish off that side line. You have five, four, three, two, release. Pipe it here. So sitting forward, hips are back, legs forward. All right, left leg first, hold it here. We kick one, two, bring it back. One, two, and back. One, two, let's go. Try and keep your foot in line with the hips. And flex here. Breathe. 10 seconds here. Almost there for five, four, three, two, release, bend it back. Flex the foot. Draw it in as you squeeze. So you're squeezing and kicking it back. Like you keep drawing it in, like you're pulling it in, pull it in. Squeeze. Breathe. And squeeze. We come into rainbows next in 10 seconds. Keep squeezing and pulling it back for five, four, three, two, Release, left leg long, flex. We come forward, up, and back. So tap forward and back, just in that rainbow. I think I need to give myself a bit more room next time. Got to make it work, 10 seconds. Then we're rolling back over into our core work. Same three exercises in three, two, release. All right, back into our core work. Knees are stacked. Basic crunch, let's go. One, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Keep those elbows out, fingertips hover. Crunch up for two, down for two. 10 more seconds. Then we're in our single leg. Breathe. Three, two, one. Release. All right. Crunch up. Let's go. Left leg this time. Down and in. Down and in. Stay lifted the whole time for that challenge. If you ever need, come down and you just come in and out. Otherwise, we're up. You have five, four, three, two, release. Reset, take that moment. All right, left elbow, right knee, right leg out and in, out and in. Point your toes, lengthen those legs nice and long. 10 more seconds and then we're back into that basic crunch. Almost there for five. Four, three, two, release. All right, knees stacked, basic crunch. Bring your feet down to the mat if you'd like. Otherwise, our knees are stacked. Feel that rib tip connection as you crunch up and then you slowly control and come back down. So one, two, one, two. Breathing. 10 more seconds here. We're in our pulse next for five, four, three, two, release. All right, right elbow, left knee. This time, right leg long. Up and down. If you need, remember, keep your head, neck, and shoulders on the mat. That is still an incredible workout. We're just twisting here today for a bit of an extra burn on. Stay lifted if you want that burn. For that extra challenge, pulse it out. 10 more seconds, stay here for five, four, three, two. Release, come down, reset, take that moment. Crunch up, extend, pulse up and down. Point your toes. Stay really low to the mat, as low as you can, and really stay lifted in that side crunch, working through your obliques. Pulse. Breathe. Only one more round left. Keep it up. Release. All right. Last round. One. Two, one, two. Elbows out. Keep that chest nice and bright as you lift here. Hold, release. Three, two, release. Take that reset. All right, we're in that side crunch. This time we're using the circles. Right elbow, left knee, right leg long. Circles. Little baby circles in. Stay lifted. We are so close. We're doing so well. Rotate here. We literally only have like 45 seconds of core work to go. Stay with me. Breathe. Release. 30 seconds. Let's finish strong. Elbows out. Crunch up. Left leg long. Circles. Baby circles. Breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes it's hard when you're concentrating so much you realize you're not breathing. So I would always say make sure you're breathing. Rotate. Smile and breathe. And release, knees to chest. 
Squeeze and hug, legs long. Have a quick wall to wall stretch. Have a drink. We have worked so hard. And remember, if you ever do need to take a drink break, please take a drink break at any time. All right, coming into our legs. We've got our block. If you want weights, use weights. You can have them at your chest. I'm just gonna demonstrate the first two exercises, which will just be right foot on block. We come down nice and low, twist to the right, back through center, knee to chest. We come down, twist, center, knee to chest. Takes a bit of balance. Then we do left side, then we've got the block in the middle. Block or book. Right foot on, we come down, swap sides. So we're just coming down as you alternate through your sides, yeah? All right, let's get started. We've got four exercises, three rounds. Shoulders back. We'll start with that left leg back. Come down, timer's on. So down, twist to the right, center, left knee to chest. Step back down, twist. If you want an extra challenge, add weights. Totally up to you. The block is also optional, just for an extra challenge throughout our leg series, having one raise a little bit higher than the other. And release, swap sides. Left foot on that block, step back. Knee to chest, add the twist. Keep those shoulders rolled back. Woo! A bit of coordination and balance here. Try and go controlled. 10 seconds. Five, four, woo! Three, two, release. We're a bit off balance today. Right foot on block, shoulders back, come down, swap sides. So we're just moving from one side to the other. Stay low. So good, you start to feel that burn. Drop those legs. One side to the other. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one. All right. Last exercise. On the knees. Shoulders back. Right, left, jump. Come down. Then left, right, jump. Come down. This is that little cardio element. Get that heart rate up. You have five, four, three, two, one. All right, block at the top. Right foot on the block. Get low. Twist. Center, knee, back down. Really draw that knee all the way up. And as you come back, make sure that right knee is stacked with the right foot. Release, swap sides. If you ever want to get rid of the knee to chest, get rid of it. And just stay in that lunge, twist. You can come up, down, twist. Otherwise, we're adding the knee. Keep the shoulders back. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, release. Whew. Block in the middle. Let's go. One side to the other. 
Again, lower as low as you can. Burning is good. Ten seconds. Then we're coming to our knees. In five, four, three, two, release. Woo! Build those legs. Step up, right foot. Left, jump. Come back down. Alternate sides. As you come up, you stay quite low. Then you have a jump. Shoulders back. Ooh. Feel that burn. Five, four, three, two, release. All right, last round. Right foot on the block. Come down. Twist. Breathe. We have really worked those legs today. Three, two, release. Left side. Go knee to chest. Controlled. Chest is bright. Ten more seconds. Three, two, release. Whew, add it in. One minute to go. Let's go. Keep those shoulders back, sitting as deep as you can. Modification, step it out. Breathe, get low. It is burning. Feels good for three, two, release. Knees, last 30. Keep those shoulders back, 10 seconds. Let's do one more, five, four, three, Two, yes. Woo. How are you feeling? Have a drink. All right, coming straight to our arms. Right hand on the block. We're just coming into a basic push up. All right, let's go. Right hand on the block. Come down, power up. Get as low as you can. Try and draw that belly button in and make sure there's a straight line from the head to the knees. Unless you're on the toes, good work. For five, four, three, two, Release. Grab your weights. On the knees, let's go. We are boxing. From one side to the other, twisting here. Keep those shoulders back, core switched on, squeeze those glutes. And breathe. You can inhale through the nose, open up, exhale through the mouth. And release. All right, left hand on the block. Let's go, push-ups. Timer's on. 
knees or toes. Try and get as low as you can. Power up. Space in, up and down. We're in round two so soon. You only have five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Right hand on the block, push ups. Get as low as you can. Try not to have the hips high. We shift forward. Breathe. Look at the top of your mat. 10 seconds. We're boxing in five, four, three, two. Let's do one more. Release, grab your weights. Let's go, timer's on. Remember weights are optional. Twisting here. Nice and strong, controlled. Release. All right, left hand on the block. Let's go. Knees on toes. If you're on your toes, you are smashing it. This is probably one of my least favorite exercises. That's okay. We have to challenge ourselves. Ten seconds. You only have five, four, three, two, release. All right, on the knees, punching to the sky. Controlled. Breathe. We only have one more round to go. Two more minutes of work and we stretch. Smash it up, finish strong. All right, right hand on the block, let's go. Timer's on. Get low, draw that belly button in. two more exercises then we stretch we have worked so hard together we are nice and strong feeling sweaty three two one all right left hand on the block one more minute to go let's finish it off down and up down and up keep going Thirty seconds. 
seconds. We are so almost done. Punch it up, these arms should feel like jelly. Punch it up. We stretch next. Less than 10 seconds. And release, shake out those arms. Woo. Shake it out. Let's bring that right arm across. We're just gonna have a quick stretch and then we are done. Stick to the breath. Let's take a nice strong inhale together through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Let's do that again. Soft sides. Inhale through the nose. Big exhale. Last time. Release, come into your backs. Let's quickly just do our figure four. We've worked really hard through those legs. Left foot over the right knee, interlace the fingers, drawing it into chest, squeeze and hug. We have worked so hard together today. Everybody should be proud. Whether you're joining live or connecting later on in the day, amazing effort, swapping sides, drawing left. Third to chest. Breathe. We're coming back to that natural rhythm of the breath. All right, release. Let's lengthen legs nice and long. Arms by your side. So taking a nice big inhale here, feel the belly rise, chest moves expanding, and exhale, let it go. Let's do that again, big inhale through the nose, and then exhale, release it, melt into your mat. One last time, big belly, inhale here. And exhale, let it out, melt into your mat. And today's quote will be, <laughs> my work is deeply fulfilling. Today I give my best to that which I do, knowing that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. Thank you for your energy today. Thanks for joining me on the mat and for working super hard with me. I hope you're all feeling nice and sweaty like me and nice and red. Um, have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Tomorrow is core fit yoga. So I hope to see you again on the mat. And then we have meditation Monday at 8 p.m. So I will see you next time.